Hi everyone, welcome to Invent Your Mind. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Gayani. I'm an intellectual property and business law attorney. Uh, what that means is I do trademark, copyrights, uh, patent, patent due diligence. I don't prosecute patents anymore, but I do um, other patent related work. And then I also do uh, create entities, LLCs, corporations, benefit corps, all of those. So uh, this is gonna be a bite-sized video, under five minutes actually, just to give a quick introduction to one of the terms you hear a lot in, a, in contracts, which is an indemnity clause. I am gonna put a, another video up with some other information about this, but I wanted to give a quick intro about what that is. So just keep in mind uh, the usual disclaimer that this is for informational purposes only. If you have a specific question or if you're trying to figure it out, please go see an attorney who practices in the area because um, that's gonna be important. So indemnity clauses are uh, how one um, could hold one party's obligation to compensate the other party for any kind of harm or loss arises from the contract due to one's performance or something that happens. So it's basically how you shift liability. And a lot of times people consider that to be, uh, um, you know, I hear some business owners sometimes come to me and they say, oh, this is a boilerplate, that's okay. And I take a look at some of these contracts and especially like the indemnity clauses, those can be very much where the liability is all on one side or the other. So you really want to take a look at it because not only that this could shift the liability to anything that arises to you, um, you know, whoever getting the contract, right? They give you a contract and it's most likely going to be shifted to you. And other thing is, even after the contractual term ends, some of these can stay active, meaning you could have a contract for one year to perform some services, but those services, whatever that um, the services results in that you provided, if any issue arise from it, uh, the other party can hold you liable based on the indemnity clause. So that's why it's really important to understand what's in a contract that you're signing and negotiate properly because it's uh, you can later go and say, well, you know, I didn't realize, especially if you are somebody, um, you know, it's, it's, there is a should have known type of a standard where uh, it doesn't matter you personally didn't understand is that you should have known. So that's to keep in mind, um, you know, it's very important type of class. It's most, a lot of times it is in the contracts. It's usually in like a second or third page. And you want to take a look at those very carefully. And today I'm actually doing another interview where a lot of your insurance policies will have a requirement how you negotiate the indemnity clauses. If you're like a professional or if you're a business, they will say you have to have certain language with, um, in your contracts to, um, to align with the insurance policy because if they're not aligned, you may actually not have the coverage you thought you have. So um, I'm gonna try to link that video because I'm doing that interview just after this. And um, so you could take a look at both of them and this is gonna be like the short intro. Okay, so thank you for joining me. And if you uh, like this video, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, bye.